Okay, everybody, so what's going on today is um, this is that wire from the North Pole fixture that we put out in the, during Christmas. And some of you may remember what had happened was um, the, um, the, the top bulb fixture um, for, well, for the top, um, I guess over the years from the wire, it eventually, the insulation had stripped, I guess, and then um, both parts of the wires of the prongs touched together and then shorted out, and then you saw it had that burn mark on it. Maybe I'll link that video down below. So, I don't have this here right now because um, when Jay was last here, he actually cut it off. Um, well, let me say that again. He took off the socket, we looked at it, and then the socket was no good anymore. I'll tell you why in a bit. And he just cut off the damaged part of the wire. So, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get a new socket on so that way I can get it all um, fixed up. Now, um, Dynatrack was very kind he he basically sent me three new sockets that i can use and he also made a video for me to show me how this all comes together how the sockets go on how you can uh check your work make sure everything is all good and uh, before, before we get more to that what had happened was if you look inside this socket right here see how there's like little teeth or prongs on the end there well when the old one on the top had shorted out i guess some um, the, the electrical arcing had basically worn away or melt it off even, it could be kind of like um, soldering, not soldering, um, what's that term, uh, welding almost. Um, it kind of wore away the teeth here on the old socket, so there was no way I could get the old socket on a different portion of wire and redo it. So I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get these, but like I said, Dynatrack was so nice. Jay and I talked to him. He said he has spare sockets available. He sent them to me. He showed me how it could all come together, and I really can't thank him enough for that. Um, very nice for both of them. So, um, I was looking it over, and then one of the things I figured out was, um, this this is the old socket, well, one of the old sockets that still works. This lights up the middle portion of the pole, if you remember. And this socket here has a little thing on the side. See how it sticks out like that? Basically, the way the old socket worked was, the end of the wire, which, which looked like this even before it was cut, it basically slid up into this side of the socket here, and then you just bend the wire and prong it to the wire accordingly. Um, the only problem is these sockets that Dynatrack gave me doesn't currently have that, so I was thinking of other ways to, um, to get it on there, and I thought of one way. Basically, one way was put it on like this, have the um, wire stick out a little bit, and just put electrical tape on there. But then I actually talked to Jay, and he had an, he had an interesting idea. Maybe I could take this socket off, move it up to here, and have this wire go into the side, like the old one did. Sorry, there you go. And the old one did. I thought, you know what, that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna go ahead and try that. So basically, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'll show you this piece of paper I printed out in a bit to get to um, basically keep some reminders of myself for what Dynatrack said in his video. And we're gonna see where it goes from there. So right now the plan is, I'm going to take this socket off, move it up to here, and see if I can put one of these sockets exactly in its place. If I can't put it exactly in its place, then I have an idea. So let's go ahead and basically um, show you what the thing I printed out. And just here's a little reminder I printed for myself. This is some basic info I got from Dynatrack's video. So basically, um, on the hotter positive side, things to note is the wire is the smooth wire, which has the information printed on it. On the light bulb socket, it's the center um, terminal, that is that's that's part of the hot uh, side and on the prong because it, it's a polarized plug the smaller prong is for the hot side now on the neutral side um the wires going to have going to have the grooves on it and no information on it on the in the light bulb socket it's the side terminal that you're going to see and for the polarized plug again the prong is going to be the larger one so this is a little bit of information that i printed out for myself just to make sure i put everything on correctly yeah, so I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try going that route. I'm gonna see if maybe I can take the existing socket, put it up to here, and then take one of these new ones and put it in the, in its place of the existing one, which I think should be fine because if the wire goes straight across, that should be all good. And um, th th this um this fixture of the, the North Pole is actually very um resistant to weather because first of all, it's enclosed all in plastic. And when you put the top piece on the fixture that says North Pole, there's no way for any water to get on or inside of there, and no way for this to get wet. And it's been in there for how many years now? And plus, it's only ever powered up during the night between December and January so of the following year. So, I mean, there's really no um, extended use on this thing, so it should be all fine. So, let's see about um, getting off. 
this existing socket and trying to move it up to the top of the wire. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try doing here is going to um, try to get this socket off the wire. So obviously, first things first, we'll take out the light bulb. Now, if I'm, and you have to somehow get this cap or backing off that's really holding the wire in place. And if you actually look inside here, you can see there's two things. Uh, let me get into focus here. See how there's two like white plastic tabs on top, above and below the um, positive terminal. So I'm going to see if maybe I can try to get those out a little bit with a screwdriver or something. So I have like a screwdriver here without damaging it, hopefully, because I want to reuse this socket. And uh, let me see. So if I put this in here like that, give it a push, because this thing is in here very securely. Let me tell you that right now. That, that, that screwdriver might be a tad large. Let me try the smaller one here. Hmm. So that's the idea. I, 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 I got to try to basically force this thing out of here. I'm gonna try, although, actually, no, I think it didn't. It looks like it moved a little bit. So I don't know. Oh, wow, okay. You know, guys, let me go ahead and do this off camera, see if I can get this to come out of here. Okay, there we go. So you basically just, you want to go along the outside if you can, and go evenly. Like, you know, don't just do it in one spot. Go around the whole circle. See if you can try to get it out. And we're making progress on that. A lot of it, actually. Okay. All right, there it is. Insulation down there looks okay. Now, let's uh, take it off the wire. Yeah, these are prongs. To, oh, they, these prongs are very much okay. Oh, sorry, getting in camera there. Let's see. Yeah, they, they, these are prongs are still very much okay. They're nice and sharp. Can you see that, guys? Hopefully you can. Sorry if you can't. And all right, so here's the two marks that the socket had made contact with. Now, what I want to see is um, is the new one going to line up properly with it? Let's see. So, taking from taking what he said before. Okay, so it feels like the wire facing the stove is um, the negative, or neutral. So, yeah, and there's the awarding on the other one. All right, so we know we're facing, so the negative is away from me. So, whichever one makes contact with the side terminal, you want it to go on that wire. Okay. Now, the only thing I'm seeing here is, it looks like the prongs are going in the opposite direction. Hmm, what can I do here? Let me see. Yeah, so it looks like I can't put it directly on the same spot that the old one was because um I actually just noticed um this part where the new socket bumps out like this this is where the negative or neutral terminal is so it's gonna have to go on the wire again that's facing towards the stove and um the only way I can possibly make that work is if um I turn it around this way and because the, the prong for the neutral is on that side and the prong for the hot is on this side so the only way that's going to work is if I orient it like this which is opposite of how the old one went. But in all seriousness, that's okay. You want to know why? Because with some of the top wire that um, that was cut off, it's actually going to end up making the center bulb a little bit higher in the North Pole. So if I actually move it a little bit lower down the wire, it should be more or less close to where it actually was. So in this case, it actually works pretty well um, in this instance. If I look at the old socket, um, it takes up maybe... Uh, inch of wire or so, I guess, something like that. It doesn't have to be exact, I know, but I want to get as close as possible. So if I move it down to, I'm going to say here, let's see, facing the right way, yeah. I'm going to say down to here, that far down where it used to be, I think that should be fine. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to wrap this with electrical tape because, like, you know, you don't want, even though there's no water getting inside the North Pole, it's always good to cover up bare wire. You know what I'm saying? Have some kind of covering over it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, get this wire over here best I can. And then I'll look at it again. Yep, it's going the right way. That prong is going towards the neutral wire. Probably going to put it on like that a little bit further down and then uh, try to get it on there. So let me uh, just look over some stuff and then get right back to you. Okay, I think I got it all set up here. So basically I have this light bulb socket upside down and I have the neutral prong towards my left and towards me, which is the way I want it. So what I want to do is if I turn the, the wire over, now the neutral wire should be facing me and it is, I feel the groove. Plus I can also see the um, stuff for the uh, hot wire and uh, Marco's running around, so I don't know if you're hearing any of that. <laughs> And so I'm going to move it. So here's the top of the wire. I'm going to have to move it down a little bit since it's going to be a little bit higher now. So here's the old marks. And we'll go down about maybe about there. I think that should be good. Right? Let's see. Yeah, that, that, that looks pretty good. So right here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and Dynatrax says he uses a, a screwdriver to push it down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, 
It should be piercing the wire right about now. That went in pretty well. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and, um, let's see, yep. Yeah, I like how this is going. Gonna go ahead and um, put that cap on, the new one. I think it's supposed to go this way because of the way it's, um, you have that part sticking out there for where the uh, neutral terminal is. And we're gonna plop that inside there like that. May have to use some force. Ugh. I have a rubber mallet. I even told Jay that. Maybe I should use that. Oh, there it goes. It just went on. All right. I think that new thing is uh, all set to go. All right, so we got that right there. Okay, now you can check to see how everything is uh, so far. Uh, so one way is to use um, a multimeter and use the leads. Put one on the corresponding terminal and one on the uh, correct prong. But the multimeter I have, the prongs aren't the best. I'm having all sorts of problems trying to get it to stay on and everything. It does work, I put the leads together, but I'm gonna do this a different way. So um, so I have the light bulb socket attached. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put that bulb that we had back in. Okay. Now I'm just gonna carefully move things around here. Okay, let's go ahead and um, see how this, what happens. Excellent, light came on. So we know um, the socket is in there securely and everything's uh, correct so far. All right, so now let's go ahead and see what we can do um, about the uh, top light. And just to show you guys um, with the light bulb socket in, there's where the old one was, all nice electrical taped up. So we should be all good to go for the section right here. And as you saw, this worked, so that's fantastic. Okay, so now for the top wire here, um, the only thing is this, the existing socket from before is kind of the opposite of how the new one was. And basically, this part that juts out here is where the wire is going to go into. And um, the, um, the, the, let's see, yeah, the, the prong for the neutral terminal is on the opposite end. And this is uh, probably going to be the harder one because you have to bend the wire and such to get it to fit somehow. So let's see. So the neutral wire is facing me, which is, which is that good? Let me see. No, it has to, hmm. The neutral wires, oh, I could just turn it around. Yeah, th 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 there we go. So if, um, so if I do that, am I in camera? Sorry, guys. Let's see here. So yes, yeah, so now the neutral wire is facing the stove again. And uh, yep, there's the groove. And the terminal for the for the neutral terminal has to face the same direction. And uh, yeah, okay, perfect. So then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I would I'm not going to do it fully. I just want to show you an example. I'm going to slip the wire up to the side here like that. Then I'm going to bend it over and try to get it to to fit to fit together. Now you may say you're bending the wire a bit much by doing that, but that's how the old one was and it worked for several years. So, all right, so let me go ahead and look this over again and then see if I can get it to fit properly and get it all together. Now, before you start putting on the uh, top socket, something very important. This metal clip is what holds the uh, top socket in place on the North Pole itself. If you put that socket on before putting this on, there's no way you're going to be able to get that on there at all whatsoever. So you want to make sure you put this through the wire first, like that, then start working on the top socket. Okay, so now looking at the um, top socket, remember, get the metal clip on first. <laughs> um, it looks like this is the opposite of what the new one is. So the part that sticks out where the wire is going to go into, the, um, the prong for the um, neutral wire is going to be on the opposite end. So if I put the wire like this, all right, there's the groove. So it's facing the stove once again. Now, let's see here. Uh, if I put this in there, yeah, perfect. So the prong for the neutral wire is also facing the stove as well, or towards it, I guess. Whatever, you get the idea. So I'm going to have to try to get this in here and then tightly bend it over and then get this back on here to hold it in place. I think I can easily do that, but just for a little bit of practice, let me just do this off camera, then I'll do the, and I'll do the whole process so you can see it then. All right, guys, I think I finally have it down pat, so um, we're going to go ahead and give this a try. So, you have, again, neutral wires facing that way. And we want the prong for the neutral um, terminal facing that way as well. Uh, and it is. Yep, yeah, I can see the difference. Oh, okay. So, we're going to put the wire up along the side there. Like so. Nice and secure. Okay. 
And I basically have to, I can turn this upside down. Or not, actually, I'm not going to do that yet. Still, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's right, because that's the neutral one right there. Okay. Yep, the, the, there's the grooves. So. All right, now we're just going to tightly put it across here. Just like that. Okay, I think, whoop. I think they're pushing through. Good. Get the screwdriver like before. Oh, my hand's kind of in the way. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay. That's coming off. See, see. Let me sure you get on there nice and tight. Okay. I gotta kind of have to keep my hand there. I'm sorry, guys. So that should be all good. Should be in there correctly. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and put that cap on. Just like that. Ugh. Okay. May have to use a uh, rubber mallet or, oh no, actually it's on. Well, all right, I think the, um, I think this thing is on properly, yep. That should be all good. Well, I guess the only thing to do now is to, um, Put on, uh, put in the light bulb and see how it goes. So I'll put that other bulb back in the uh, new socket here. All right. And for the um, for the uh, new one, I bought some new uh, incandescent C7 bulbs. So I'll go ahead and put one of those in there carefully. Getting out of this packaging is always the hard part. <laughs> there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and put this one in the. Uh, Existing socket. Okay, let me make sure this is all um, in view here. Alrighty, let me get the plug. Make sure they're they both in view. Yes, they are. Oh, jeez. See what I mean? How, how they like to flop around. And then plug it in. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> that is just absolutely awesome to see. Oh man, it is so nice to see both of them working like that. Um, good, so we know that the work that we did was correct. Both light bulbs are on, no arcing or anything, of course. Um, nice steady glow, so I know the wires have a good connection. Oh, that is just so beautiful to see. All right, so we know that we did a job well done, and that is very nice to see. All right, so I guess what we can do now is we'll uh, go ahead and then reassemble this back into the uh, North Pole, and then we'll see how it looks all back together. And just so I'm fully honest with you guys, here's a little mistake that I made that I just fixed. When I had put this metal clip on before, on the wire, I had it the opposite way. So when I tried to put it on, the, uh, clip, the, uh, the clips were facing up instead of down, like they currently are like that. You see that? So a little mistake I made, but I figured, ah. Uh, but hey, I'll be honest, and I'll be honest, and I showed you that I fixed it. So what I had to do was I had to take the socket back off, take the clip off, reorient it, putting the clip back on and then put the socket back on like so but good news i just tested it with the light bulb in there plugged it in light comes on perfectly prongs went back in where they were just before everything's fine so just make sure when this clip goes back on these face down like it currently is okay <laughs> little mistake but easily fixed all right let's go ahead and get this in the north pole okay here we go brought inside the kitchen to test you can see it's all back together uh one, one thing i did do was i put the um I put the newer bulb in the middle and the older bulb on the top because I figured if that one goes out first, which it should, but things can happen, it'll be easier to replace. So, and plus the older socket is on top too now, so hey, why not? All right, let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it looks. Oh my God, look at that. It, it, it fully lights up again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know, it's absolutely amazing. I was thinking, and plus I love how I moved the light down a little bit too, because it really evens it out. Really glad I did that. You know, it really is fantastic. I was thinking like, wonderful. Never going to light up again fully like it used to. It's going to have the top out now and the bottom just lit. What am I going to do? I doubt you can find this wire again. So, as you can see, it's fully working. And two people, I have to thank tremendously for that. Dynatrack and JK18. Jay, thank you so much for reaching out to um, Dynatrack to get information on this and also for working on the socket a little bit that you did when you were last here. And Dynatrack, just thank you. I mean, 
you, you made that video for me that showed exactly how all this was going to go. And I'm going to say at least half the stuff you did, I wouldn't even have known if you didn't make that video. You know, th thank you so much for sending me those sockets, like just, just for doing that. I mean, seriously, you, you sent me the sockets, you made the video, it showed me exactly what to do. And the result is just perfection. I mean, honestly. And again, Jay, thank you for reaching out to him. I mean, both of you guys have really done um, done stuff for me in 2024 that have made things terrible into awesome. And I really can't thank you guys enough. And just again, thank you. I, don't, I, I guess I can't really say that enough. Um, both their channels will be, will be below in the video description. But there you guys go. Thanks to JK18 and Dynatrack. North Pole fully works again. And um, every part of it's lit. And this coming uh, Christmas season, it should be it shall go outside and look like this. Not sure yet if I'm going to do a full decoration video, but I'll probably make a video of this looking like this to show that it's fully working again. And just so happy to see this. So again, both of you guys, thank you so much. Really could not be happier. You guys rock. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.